All right, so as programmers, one of the main things we use are obviously keyboards. And I have a lot of experience with different keyboards. I have gone through the traditional keyboard. This is a very nice one, this is from GMMK. And I have gone through a cool split one where I made a video for the Moonlander. And I wanna make this video because I have made yet another switch into what keyboard I like to use and why I think it's the best one for software engineers. All right, so you can see here about 10 months ago, I made a video called this is the best split keyboard to use for software engineers and that video basically explains that i'm moving away from that traditional keyboard to my split ergonomic keyboard which is the moonlander if you don't know this is the moonlander the moonlander mark one i actually have two of them you can see here i have this moonlander which i've rarely used this is sent to me and then i have another moonlander which i use for the better half of about a year and a half almost two years and the moonlander truly is great I mean, it is way better than this traditional keyboard. And my first video explains all of that. But to summarize, the split ergonomic keyboard releases any kind of tension you can have in the upper neck portion because your hands aren't close together, then we can be more spread out. The keycaps or the keys are actually ortholinear. And what ortholinear means, if you look at the traditional keyboard, they're kind of staggered, you know, they're not straight, they're kind of like tilted, you can see here, versus on the Moonlander, you can see that the keys are actually all straight. They're like not staggered, it's all columnar. And this is really nice because your fingers can just move up and down to hit the keys in that column. And then also the Moonlander has this really cool tenting feature. So you can like tent this thing up and then this thing for your palm it's it's really nice it's a really good keyboard i had no real issues with it for a little bit but that all changed when i got an email from the president of kinesis keyboard and what this email said was basically hey we saw your video we want to send you a keyboard and just use it you don't have to do anything you don't have to say you like it don't have to tell people we're gonna send it to you if you enjoy it would you mind talking about it but if you don't like it send it back no problem and i said sure you know what who am i to not enjoy a free keyboard that i can experiment with and kind of collect more information on and in previous videos i've actually said that the kinesis is actually not one of my favorite keyboards especially this kinesis advantage 2. i really dislike this like sega genesis looking piece of keyboard it was not for me but they said hey the kinesis advanced 360 is very similar to the moonlander would you care to try it out i was skeptical however i must say that going from the moonlander to the kinesis completely changed my mind on how what i think makes a good ergonomic keyboard let me explain everything i said about the moonlander applies to the kinesis advantage 360 but a bit more you see the kinesis advantage 360 has the same ortholinear setup it's split so you know you don't have any pinching you can spread as far as you want but there's something about it's different and in this face it looks pretty much identical to the moonlander however it's when you turn it this way that you see the difference and this difference is the concavity it may not sound like a big deal it may not sound like oh, okay well milky that's not really what the concavity of this keyboard absolutely changes the tier in terms of how ergonomic friendly it is for you you see my main problem with the Moonlander when I first got it was that my fingers actually still had to stretch quite a bit to get across the keyboard. And that's fine. I know some people with smaller hands may have had some troubles with the Moonlander. I am lucky that I have kind of long fingers and I can reach across the keyboard fairly easily, especially when I'm, you know, typing like this. I can, I can reach anywhere I want. One thing you'll notice though is if you do that for an extended period of time, you actually still feel a bit of pain in your hand. Uh, it's like a little very simple carpal tunnel like feeling sensation where your hands just kind of feel weird because you're still traveling quite a bit. You're still moving your hands in this really weird way and it can still cause you pain even if you move away from like a traditional keyboard where this this is just one of the worst ones. I mean, if you have a keyboard like this, especially this like less than 65% one, I mean, this is just bad news. But the Moonlander uh, alleviates some of the issues. However, the Moonlander still caused me some discomfort
comfort if I was programming for like four to six hours. If you guys like go in this kind of content, make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy. But let's get back to the video. This baby does not. And it's because of a simple concavity that it has. This little indent, the dent where your hand goes in, the travel distance is actually less. And it's kind of hard to explain, but when you put your hand on the kinesis like this, you can travel across the entire keyboard and you do not have to move your finger as much. For example, to hit the four, I can pretty much reach it fairly easily because it's, there's a concavity here. The, tr the distance to get this four is less than the distance, the flat distance I have to go to get the four up here. I have to stretch more for the moon lander because it's a flat surface. It's a flat face. My finger has to stretch just a little more. I have to move my entire hand to hit it as opposed to the kinesis. It's one simple flick of the finger, a little flick. And that is one main reason why I really enjoy the Kinesis, why I've really been enjoying it. And like I said to the present Kinesis, I'm going to give it my very unbiased opinion. And I came with it, Team Moonlander. I am the Moonlander guy for a while. I was I was preaching to a ton of people to get the Moonlander. But guys, after using Kinesis, I have to say I'm no longer the Moonlander guy. Another cool feature is like these little pads are like magnetic. Did you see that? Like here magnetic i think that's really cool it's much heavier i mean it is like significantly heavy like this is probably about a pound and a half two this is easy like three pounds it's it's solid right and it's not heavy in the way that's like oh my god it's too heavy it's unpleasant it's heavy in the sense that it's a quality metal if that makes sense not saying that the moonlander or other keyboards are necessarily cheap but there's something about feeling this and it's just not plastic you can tell this is this is just not plastic it's like a heavy heavy piece of fine metal. It's a metal kind of platform over here. It's just heavy. It's not going to move on your desk at all. And you can adjust it this way. So this matches the tenting feature of the Moonlander. And the concavity is going to be absolutely perfect for your hand. And you can separate them. Cable is nice between each component and you can modify it. There's a lot of really cool benefits to the Kinesis that I just wasn't aware of until I started using it. If you are genuinely facing carpal tunnel, like if you have a medical condition, if your hand's genuinely genuinely heard from programming. I don't think the Moonlander is the right option for you. I would suggest strongly that the Kinesis Advantage 360 is going to be much better dealing with a serious hand problem like carpal tunnel or anything. If you have a, you know, a tightness in the upper neck region, both of these splits are going to be good. But if you want to double down onto a more seamless experience, the Kinesis is going to be my vote. And I know there's other keyboards on the market as well, such as the Glove 80 and the digma defy um both of these look super cool like the digma defy looks like bear paws the glove 80 has that nice concavity i have yet to use these in depth and i don't really plan on getting one of these i think having the moonlander and the kinesis i've explored a lot of good options when it comes to ergonomic keyboards and i'm very happy with the kinesis so happy in fact that i actually emailed the person saying hey I'm keeping this. I love it. Thank you. And he said, you know what? If you want, let me give you a 15% discount on your entire order. So just for reference, I get nothing from this. There's no kickback. Like it's not like for every purchase, I'm going to make some money. I have the only thing I'm going to gain is this Kinesis 360. And they actually sent me this other keyboard too. this uh, TKO gaming one against a single piece. It's for gaming. It's cool. I don't really plan on using it. But if you want, if you're interested in buying a Kinesis keyboard, uh, 15 percent off your entire order big shout to kinesis i'm genuinely a big fan of this keyboard and uh i very much appreciate it i appreciate the candidates of the team and uh yeah i want to know what do you guys think if you are team moonlander have you tried the kinesis or are you kind of still on this one piece traditional keyboard uh let me know in the comment section down below what do you think is the best keyboard that you want to use so i hope you enjoyed this video um as i'm kind of recording this i for some reason I just started using the T this TKO. I haven't used a single piece keyboard in, in years. And for whatever reason, I've been using this as my main driver. I don't know why. I just decided one day, let me try it out. And it's been pretty pleasant. I don't have any pain in my hands. Maybe it's because I've only been like a week or two since I've started using this thing. But hey, this is a really good keyboard as well. So uh, yeah, it's nice. It sounds, look at this. Sounds amazing. But as always, you got to power it.